Spade back here with you, High Noon Leatherworks, for another leather adventure. And today, part two of the horizontal uh, Caltech flag uh, leather holster uh, that plan on wearing it in the small of the back. Um, if you go back and take a look at the last video, um, we did the stamping for the uh, artwork on there and then what I've done uh, off camera was I went ahead and did the entire background of the artwork in white acrylic and I went ahead and dyed all the pieces so I've got all the pieces dyed front and back ready to go in black so today we're gonna get started uh, put some of this acrylic paint on here I'll, I'll show you how I do it I'm no expert um, but uh, done a couple of things with this and uh, it works for me so you might want to try it if not hey put some comments down there what you've done with some acrylic on leather and uh, I like checking those out so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button in the corner and I would appreciate it so come on in and let's get started what I'm gonna start with today is uh, the red I'm gonna do the stripes um, and the way I do this again uh, I'm no expert this is just trial and error that I've done in the past uh, with a couple of different uh, guitar straps really and uh, it worked pretty well so I've kind of stuck with it um, get these little clear shallow uh, plastic trays at Dollar Tree or a dollar store uh, you get a dozen of them I think in a pack so I use them and just throw them away I'm gonna do you can see I've got the background in the white and that's uh, I believe that's two coats I've got uh, this is called deco art acrylic paint it's true red um, And I've used a couple of different kinds, and I just pick them out at uh, Hobby Lobby is where I pick those up at. And then I'll take one of those trays, and I just put me a little dollop in there whatever I don't use I just throw it in the trash so and then I use these uh, crafters collection synthetic camel hair uh, detail brushes and I they've got a nice little silicone rest on them and I really like that for control um, they're $2.99 for four of them so they're pretty cheap um, couple the same size and then a couple larger ones and uh, I just like to get the tip of my brush in there and the first time I'll just get it nice and full and rub it off of the edge now the key I'm gonna assume I haven't done this exact artwork but I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have to do one end and remember this is uh, stamped so it is uh, lowered the stripes are lowered should make it a little easier when painting um, again I'm gonna do 
one end and then turn it around and do the other end before I do the actual centers or the middle of the stripes because the ends are going to be the most critical especially working on this white background you have to be really careful or at least I do my eyesight's not the greatest I wear bifocals so um, I have to be really careful because my eyes get so focused on what I'm doing they want to start playing tricks on me a little bit and uh, I have to really be careful or uh, I could make a mistake really quickly so I go pretty slow I'm sure somebody with a lot more experience can move much quicker but this is one of those situations where I've got enough time invested in this as far as painting the white and letting it dry and giving it a second coat that I want to be real careful not to mess that up so you can see how I'm doing that I'm doing the ends the right ends first of the stripes and I'm just being real careful I don't want to make any mistakes there especially just getting started I like to not put a lot of paint on my brush at a time I put it right on the tip and it seems like at least for me I can control it so much better if I just have a really small amount right on the tip of that brush now you're gonna see as I do this I'll keep showing it to you up close because I know you can't see a real good view of it as I'm doing it so I'll keep showing it to you but this white that I used I'll show you what I used here in a second so you can see exactly what it is but there's all of those ends started then what I'm going to do is flip it around I'm going to do these ends before I match them up or go all the way down this is uh, Delta creative uh, serum coat acrylic white and it, it covers pretty good especially on black I again it's going to take more than one coat but it covers I think really well and then as soon as I get these stripes done in red 
And this stuff dries pretty quickly, I think. Um, I mean, it dries quick enough that within an hour, you can give it another coat. I don't think I'm going to have to give the colors another coat since we're putting it on the white background. I'm pretty impressed with how well the color is covering it. Now, one thing that I found that I've done in the past on guitar straps when I do some acrylic painting is uh, once I get all my color on there I do one more step to help protect that and uh, and protect the paint as well as the leather but and I'll show you what that is as soon as I get all my color on here see I'm not I don't have the steadiest of hands either and it seems like I don't know maybe it's just a painting thing but it seems like with me the harder I try uh, to hold still while I'm painting uh, the worse my shaking gets. So I try not to think about holding still as much as making sure that I'm just staying within the lines. And that's one of the reasons I really like these brushes. They have a real fine tip and they seem to be really easy to control and I've washed this one out four or five times and reused it so it's not like you have to throw them away after one use So they do last for multiple uses. And once you get, I was talking about trying to stay in the lines and the stamping lines is what I'm talking about, but uh, once you get moving along I start to get a little more comfortable I don't want to get too comfortable because I don't want to make a mistake So I've got all my ends done. Now I'll just go back and I'll fill those stripes in. And I'll do that, speed it up for you, and then uh, I'll be back.
my red stripes on there with the red acrylic. Um, I'll pause here. Touch up a couple little spots. And then uh, I'll let this dry for a second and see if I need to uh, hit it one more time before I go to the blue. So hang in there, I'll be right back. I've got uh, my white background and my red stripes done. I did off camera uh, go ahead and just do a little light second coat really to make it pop nice and dark. Now I'll do the same thing with the uh, blue for the lettering. And again this is the same deco art uh, acrylic and this is called bright blue. And I'll give you a another disclosure that I am not an artist I am not a painter I just uh, thought this would be a cool idea to try to go off of the Caltech flag uh, for this uh, holster uh, for that P17 Caltech so Take that for what it's worth. I'm definitely no painting expert. I kind of enjoy this type of painting. Um, to be honest with you, I do not enjoy painting like uh, indoors like in the house walls those type of things just never have liked doing that I mean I can do it but I don't enjoy doing it that's for sure there's I know some people that love doing that and I just have no interest I just soon let them do it and I'll do something something else to help out on a project like that but as far as uh, painting in a house or the outside of a house or something like that just not a big fan this is somewhat therapeutic to me where painting walls in a house or on the outside of a house is a lot of work it's not uh, it's not what I consider therapeutic or enjoyable But hey, you know, that's what makes the world go around. Everybody's different. If everybody was exactly the same, it'd be a boring place. So I'll, I'll get this first one knocked out here. And I'll show you what I've got. Again, these letters are going to leave very little for air, but 
it gives you an idea what it's going to look like. The colors I picked I think are really good as far as the blue and the uh, red. Now the kel on the sticker, the letters are real dark blue and I don't care much for that so I wanted a brighter blue. So I think that's going to work out pretty good for me. And again, as soon as I get all these letters finished up, then I can show you what I do to my guitar straps to protect them and uh, finish them out. And it always seems to give them a nice finished look. Again with this small painting like this, it's just real tedious. I have to focus so hard. And again, I think some of it's just my eyesight being so bad, but If I my eyes, I could feel them starting to get tired and a little fuzzy. I'll just stop for a second, take a quick little break, close my eyes, let them rest for a second. And then I'll come right back at it. And then I'm doing the same on the blue as I did with the red. I'm not putting a ton of paint on my brush. I'm just barely dipping the tip of the brush in there. So I'll go ahead, uh, there's the E and the L, I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these letters, then I'll be back.
got my blue letters painted now, uh, my red stripes. Now, this next thing, I'm going to get a piece of cardboard here. Put up here, try to not dump that paint. Um, and this is what I was talking about earlier that I used before on guitar straps when I use acrylic paint. And all it is is uh, it's a SC Johnson product. It's called Kiwi. They make a lot of uh, different things for uh, like shoe polish and that kinds of stuff. But it's for outdoor work boots and footwear. And it's a boot protector. It's got silicone in it. And uh, you can spray this on the way I've done it in the past on guitar straps is once I get my acrylic paint done and I did let this dry, I'll let it dry completely. Then I'll come back and I'll put light, very light coats of this silicone protectant on it. And what it does is it lays it down real nice because it's a spray. So it lays it down real nice on top of there. It kind of just lets it flow real lightly uh, on top of that acrylic and the leather so it's protecting the leather too uh, I let it dry approximately 20 minutes to 30 minutes and I'm not sure this says uh, twenty four to forty eight hours before wearing boots but um, seven to ten inches away protection apply second coat after four hours so I don't wait that long because I'm not spraying it heavy or anything on this but uh, I shake it up real good and then I'll get about ten to twelve inches away from it and I'll spray a light coat. Now, I don't know if you could see that or not, but it was enough to make it shiny. Let me see if I can see how it made it shiny. What that seems to do on that uh, acrylic paint, and it is dry, but that acrylic paint dries with a real flat finish to it uh, on this leather. So, um, what that silicone protectant does is obviously it's going to protect that and put a layer of silicone protectant on top of it, but it also lets it lay out flat and gives that uh, acrylic paint a real nice look to it instead of being that real flat, dull, chalky looking uh, look. So, We'll let that dry for a little bit, uh, then we'll come back and we'll put a second coat on it, and I'll show you that then. So I've got one coat of that silicone spray on there, that protectant, and you can see it just, it just brightens everything up. And the second coat will help really put a nice coating on that acrylic paint. That's all it takes. I'll show you what it looks like when it's wet, nice and glossy. And then that silicone coating will dry on there. And then we'll be ready to go to the next step. All right, I really wanted to make this a two-parter, but as you can see, uh, a lot of intricate details in painting, so going to turn into a three-parter. I'm sorry. Try not to make these very long, but uh, we're going to have to come back on the next part and wrap this up uh, and show you a finished product. So uh, please stick around, come back, see the third part, uh, the conclusion of this project. Uh, it's turning out 
so good. I'm so happy with it so far. Get that silicone spray dried on there. That way all that paint will be protected. Uh, it'll wear really nice. So that's the way I do it. Again, it's trial and error. I'm sure if you have a different way that you're protecting your acrylic paint on your uh, leather, please put it in the comments down below and uh, I'll take a look at them and I'll use some of your ideas. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for being part of it. Please come back next week. Check out the third and final part of this video uh, series. And as I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.